we've got another bag battle. Hey guys, it's Jess from She's the Posh. Welcome back. And today we are doing another bag battle, a bag comparison from the Mansoor Gabrielle cloud bag versus the Bottega Veneta pouch bag. This one is the designer designer dupe and the original. Which one? Which one is better guys? which one is worth your money. I make videos every Wednesday and Sunday, all designer and fashion related. I love sharing with you all my tips and tricks. If that is something you're into, please remember to hit subscribe below and ring my bell so we can become best friends here on the internet. Okay guys, I have another fun video for you. So I thought I would go ahead and rent the Bottega Veneta cloud bag again. And I actually have a review on this that I did last year. I actually almost bought this bag instead of the Bottega Veneta. I actually own this bag here because I was able to have a great deal on it on Jamba Shop. I got this bag for just right around $1,500. And this bag here, I could have bought from Rent the Runway for just, I think it was right around $300, but this one retails for around $600. Very similar bags, but different. This one I consider a designer, designer dupe. I don't really care for like the Amazon dupes because I still want like a leather bag. I don't really care for like the fake leather. I used to get dupes to like try them out to see if I would like the style, but it really isn't for me because I just saw it as a waste of money for myself because it didn't stop me jonesing for the actual piece that I wanted per se. And I hated the smell of those bags because they, they just smelled weird to me. I'm very sensitive to smells. So those weren't for me. So I actually thought I was going to purchase this bag because spoiler alert, I love it. So if you've seen my other review, I will tag that to get more depth about this bag. But I just thought it'd be super fun to compare these two bags to see if I made the right choice, like getting the original bag, or maybe I should have just gotten the cloud bag to begin with. So let's compare these two beauties. This is the Bottega Veneta. Get the color name for it, but it's like their classic nude color. And this is that same kind of nude color, but as you can see, it's a lot darker. And for me, I really prefer this lighter color. So when I was thinking about buying this clutch, I was actually thinking about getting it in the black. So I don't care for this color as much, but I'm just going to go by like the actual like features of the bag. Now the sizes of the bags are very similar. Now this bag is not stuffed and you'll notice, and this bag is not stuffed as well. That's the Bottega Veneta one. I mean, it does hold its shape a lot better and it is a lot bigger and poofier and squishier and smushier than the actual cloud bag. So that's something you can kind of tell right off the bat. And yes, this one's been rented a whole lot, but the quality of this bag is amazing. These are both lamb skin bags. So to the touch, they feel very, very similar. Like this one, I would say it's just a smidge softer to the touch than this one. But I mean, they're pretty much about the same when it comes to that. Now the design of this bag is a little bit different because you have the ruching and then you have like this wave effect here, which is hence why they call it like the cloud bag. And it's very minimal branding, which is similar to Bottega. Bottega doesn't have any brand names on it. And this one just has a very small brand name. And then you have the difference with the ruching where this one you do have ruching, but it's like on the top, it doesn't have this wave dramatic effect. So I will say because it has this style, this one is maybe just a little bit easier to hold and grab, which I love. I mean, this one has a bar all the way through. It's easy to grab top handle, but this one just feels a lot more comfortable to grab like top handle plus you can grab it from any angle. This one you can too, but there is a lot more leather. So something to consider with this one. This one is a little bit easier to grab. When you feel the weight of these two, this one's a little bit lighter than this, than this one, but not by much at all. But again, this is more leather. This is more material than this one is. Open the bags up. So the inside of this bag is also leather lined and you have a pocket in the back. This one, you open it up, you have the magnetic all the way around it, but there are no pockets. There's nothing. All there is, is a D-ring down here in the bottom. I don't know if you could see, there's a little D-ring down here that you could clip your pouch to, which is nice, but there's no pockets. It's just basically an open pit. 
And for me, I mean, a pocket is nice, but I use pouches and things like that, so that's not a deal breaker for me. But this one might be like more convenient to have a pocket, but this is a small pocket, so it's not like it's a big game changer or anything. But if you're someone that like likes the pocket, you would like this one better. The closure, I wanna say the closure are about the same. Maybe a little bit of a bigger opening for this, but that's not a big deal there. And you have a magnetic closure all the way around. But if we go by sound, so you hear, like that's what everybody loves is like the sound of this pouch. So this one has the mag magnet just right here. You can feel it. It's like one little magnet here that puts it together. Whereas this bag here has a magnet all the way around. So the sound of this is like more appealing if you go by sound for sure. Okay, let's go over the dimensions of the bag. So the length of this bag is 15.7 and the length of this bag here is 13 inches. So 15.7, so this one is definitely longer. The pouch bag is definitely bigger than the cloud bag. And the depth of this bag here is five inches and the depth of this one is seven inches. So just like you see, this one is a lot bigger and roomier. Now the heights are very similar. So this height is seven inches. This height is eight inches. So this one is a little bit taller, but probably because of the bar, how it comes up like that. And this bar is a straight line. So this one's a little bit taller in length. However, they're very, very similar in size, but overall the Bottega bag is bigger. It's more poofier and that kind of stuff. And to wear these bags, both bags, super easy to wear as a clutch, super comfortable, just wearing like that, holding all that stuff, squishy goodness. This one is squishy, but not as squishy. It doesn't have as much of a poof. Again, none of these bags have anything in it, but it's super easy to carry and to hold. This one is just poofier. Okay, so now we've gone through like all the details of the bag, all the different things. Let's talk about the price difference, which is very dramatic. So this bag here retails for right around I believe it's $2,700 or $2,800 for this bag. Yes, you can find them on sale, but secondhand market, they're still probably around $2,000. But if you check Jamba Shop, which I'll have the link below, it says sell, like sold out like all the time, but you just have to keep like refreshing and then they will have them back in stock for sure. So I'll make sure to have that link for you, but I was able to get this one for around $1,500, a little over $1,500. So you can find them more affordable. However, these retail for just under $600. They come in lots of colors now. They have like pretty pinks and all different things. And you can find these on sale. Like I said, I could purchase this one for Rent the Runway for right around $300. So definitely a dramatic price difference. But this one is still like an amazing high quality bag. So if I was going based on value, if I was just looking at these bags based on value, what do I think is the best value? What do I think is worth it? and the cloud bag would, would win every single time because you're getting an all leather bag, you're getting high quality, you're getting a designer bag. I mean, so Gabrielle is a designer bag. You're getting the look and quality of like the Bottega, like the quality is pretty much the same across the board when you're looking at that. This is just a little bit different, a little more luscious. Leather is thicker, like a little more luscious bigger and poofier and softer, but you're still getting high quality. So this bag would win in all those categories of value, quality, all that stuff, this one would win. But if I'm going based on looks and style and what I like, the Bottega wins. I just like the look of this better. I absolutely love how this looks. I love the ruching effect here. I love how this feels. This feels so much better than this one, not by a ton, but it just feels thicker and squishier, more of a therapy bag. I like to call it. And it just feels softer to the touch, more fun to wear. And I just prefer the look. When you look at this, this has the ruching up top. This is a little bit more flatter. This is poofier, even without anything in it. Like it's, it's poofier. I think it just looks nicer. So based on looks, I would go for this. So what I always say when deciding if you should get a like designer dupe or you should go for the real thing is I love, this is why I love renting. Cause I was able to rent this from Rent the Runway. So I already knew what this was before I purchased this bag here. And because I found a great deal, I decided to buy the bag. I could always you know, return it or sell it and get all my money back. So I thought it was worth trying, but I already had this bag in mind. But when I got the real thing, when I held the real thing in my hand, I know it's hard now because of like pandemic and be able to find things, 
but I realized that this is what I liked and I preferred better. Sometimes when you buy the dupe version and stuff, it still doesn't satisfy that urge and you rather it would have the original. So that's just something to consider. Like if you just like the style, you just want to have it for a little bit, then definitely go for the cloud bag. But this is a bag I plan to have in my collection for a really long time. Like even if it's not popular, I just think it's super beautiful, sophisticated clutch bag. And I actually have worn this as an everyday bag and it actually wasn't that bad. It was pretty comfortable. I could carry it top handle and like this and I went to a store and stuff with it. So it actually worked as an everyday bag for a little bit. I mean, I know it's not super practical, but it worked. So yeah, guys, I always say like, if you really want that designer bag, you should probably save up and just get that piece because at the end of the day, you should get what you love and what makes your heart sing. So yeah, guys, what do you think? Which one do you think should have won? Okay, guys, that is everything. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. I always love seeing comparison videos, especially when I'm not sure if I want to buy a certain bag or there's another bag super similar. So I was hope I'm able to help you out. And I will also post my reveal and review videos of these two bags that I already have on my channel just to get more in depth where I put things in it and you can see that a little bit better. But as always guys, I wanna thank you so much for watching and hope to see you again. Bye guys.